I've had a lot of people come to me wanting to know how I am able to make all of our bread products. The last year, I guess it's been, I truly have gotten to where I any bread products we eat, uh, it's because I'm making it, except for pasta. I have not gotten into the, the pasta scene, and I don't know that that will happen anytime soon. But the other bread products, um, yes, I am making them from scratch. And um, our kombucha, I'm making that from scratch as well. And I've had a lot of fun with learning kombucha. I tried kombucha years and years and years ago. It was store-bought kombucha. And I, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite thing in the world to drink, but I knew it was good for me, so I would try to kind of get myself excited about drinking it. But it was always, it was just a little too tart for me. And so learning how to make kombucha myself at home, I'm able to control that tartness and able to control the flavors that it's going to have. And it's been really fun. I love it so much more. I, I mean, we drink it once a day for sure. The kids drink it in the morning. Sometimes they'll, if they didn't get it in the morning, they'll, they'll get it with lunch. And they really enjoy it. And our favorite flavors so far that we've been able to experiment with is um, the peach, plum, and strawberry. And of course, those, now that summer's over, those are going to kind of go away because we're not able to have those as fresh. But those are definitely our favorites. One that I'm trying for fall is apple cinnamon. So I actually have that doing a second ferment. I ju it just finished. I just put it in the fridge. And so I am anxious to try that, see if that's something that we like for fall. But anyways, um, people want to know how I do that. And so I do have neighbors and friends. They'll come to the house sometimes and we'll be able to spend a couple of hours on sourdough and show them how to do that, or even my breads that I make with active dry yeast, I've shown a few people that. But that's not always possible with people who are out of town or people who just have a busy schedule and trying to coordinate my schedule with their schedule to be able to come and see in person how I do it. So I did want to make some videos, and my first thought was, okay, I'll video me doing it, explaining it, and then I can just send it to them on the topics that each individual person is wanting to learn about well the problem with that is since I have my kids with me 24 7 and I have all kinds of other things going on first while I'm videoing it and trying to explain it while I video it I'm interrupted like a thousand times and or there's like a fight going on in the background that I have to go address and it's just it, there was too many interruptions it wasn't possible and then with videoing it and sending it to individual people all these different topics it became difficult with, okay, these can get pretty lengthy videos, and if I send them a certain way, they can get distorted, or they have to get shortened, and it just, it kind of was becoming a mess. So, a lot of people, or a lot of people, there are a few people, uh, who have told me that I should put videos on YouTube, and it's not something I've ever seen me do, not something I've ever thought about doing, I feel really silly doing this. But it did kind of make sense putting, recording the videos and then explaining it, putting the videos on YouTube because that is somewhere that everyone can go to. The videos will be there. They can watch them however many times they want to. And so it, it did make sense. As silly as I feel, it does make sense to do this. And so that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm, I'm choosing to put it on YouTube. Uh, this is a huge learning curve for me because I do not have a technology brain. I do not understand a lot of technology. And so learning how to record this and then piece it together because of all the interruptions that happen while I'm recording. And then because of all the noise and everything going on, I chose to do voiceovers. That's a whole nother thing I had to learn. So um, these next few videos will probably be a little rough. But I am learning it, I am working on it, and hopefully y'all can still find these videos helpful for you. Um, I am doing kind of daily life videos, so you can kind of see how, you know, okay, I'm doing breakfast here, but then I also have bread going here, or I might be grinding the grain while I'm making breakfast so I can make bread while everybody's eating, that kind of thing. A lot of my videos and my most, production time in the kitchen 
is done in the morning. So you'll probably see me in my pajamas. You'll probably see the kids in their pajamas. And that's because the uh, majority of the stuff that I get done throughout the day that will be in the kitchen is in the morning. Um, yeah, I get the kids eating breakfast while they're busy eating. I'm able to whip something up really quick. Or if it's after breakfast, in between breakfast and when Anna goes down for a nap and we start homeschool, we kind of have like a chunk of time there that they tend to play and entertain themselves. And that gives me another chunk of time there that instead of getting dressed, if it's a stay at home day, I don't have to rush to get dressed, I do some meal prep or some bread work or maybe, you know, before I forget about the kombucha needing the second ferment, I go ahead and get it poured and done, set up to do the second ferment. So sometimes I'm not getting dressed on a stay at home day anyways until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And um, so that's why you'll, you'll probably be able to tell that I'm <laughs> in my pajamas and hopefully that's okay because that's just how it's going to work. But um, anyways, I hope these videos will be helpful. Aside from the day-to-day -day videos, I am trying to make videos that focus on a certain topic. So if you see me do something on the day-to-day -day videos and you're like, hey, I would like to see how she does that more in detail, just let me know. Um, I know I'm trying to focus on bread ones. I'm trying to focus on kombucha ones. Um, but if there's anything else that you see that you're like, hey, I would like to see her do that a little bit more or a little bit more in detail, just let me know and I'll try to get a video made for that. So anyways, uh, I hope y'all find these helpful. I hope this is what y'all are looking for in as far as me showing y'all how I do these things. And um, yeah, see y'all on the next video.